What is going on guys, it is Blink here back with a new guide. Now in this guide I'll be showing you guys a few awesome tips and tricks revolving around box fights. Now before we do get started, make sure you guys use code BLINK.YT if these guys do help out. I also do appreciate every one of you using my code as it does help me out a ton. Alrighty guys, let's get started. Now, this first trick was done by a user on Reddit named Fatmax, so credits to him. If you ever want to know a great way of getting off a cheeky shot when someone takes control of your roof, then this is the play. You'll build a backwards ramp, and the moment your opponent opens up the roof, you'll edit the ramp into a half ramp and jump while taking a shot. You also want to make sure you're pretty far left of your ramp, that way there's only a small opening to shoot from. This will make it much much harder for your opponent to get off any damage back, let alone react to your shot. Now, you do have a small opening to shoot from, so it'll be quite hard to do at first, but mastering this trick will be quite deadly against your opponents. There's also one more way of doing this trick, which is to crouch peek from the bottom of the ramp. The moment your opponent opens up the roof, you'll back up and take a shot as you're backing up. You'll then quickly move back into your ramp to stay covered. This will also take a little bit of time to learn, as you have to learn to take a shot as you back up. Basically, you'll be pre-shooting for both these methods I've shown. It's very hard for your opponent to spot you as you aren't really exposed at all. This is also a trick you do not see being done anywhere, which is why I decided to make a guide on it. I'm always trying to make sure I get the newest tricks out to you guys as much as I can. Now one last thing, yes, your opponent can instantly spray at your ramp if he wants, which you can quickly go for and edit out or utilize your usual strat. Overall guys, you just want to become efficiently fast with this trick to use it effectively, and that's key. So keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. Alright, so this next trick was done by a player named FaZe Martos, so shout out to him. This trick's an absolute insane way of fooling your opponent. Basically, you'll edit your wall like you're planning on getting away from your opponent. He'll then put his attention towards that wall because he can see the edit and hear it happening. He now thinks you're going to go build another box and open the wall that way you can take a shot toward him. Or he's just simply getting ready to start breaking the wall just so he can keep pressure towards you. Now after you edit that wall, you make a stair edit exposing your opponent. The trick here is that he's going to have all his focus towards that wall you edited, which will allow you to get a nice pump shot towards him. Now this last trick is also another defensive trick which is more geared towards endgame scrim situations. This trick was done by user named Wally the Waller, so credits to him. This trick is basically a great great way of peeking plenty of opponents from range without being exposed to other players. You'll simply make a pyramid corner edit and edit the bottom 4 squares of your wall which will expose a small gap to look from. Now, on top of peeking opponents from range, you can use it in a box fight too as it's such a unique angle to take shots from. Your opponent won't have time to react to this peek at all and as a bonus, it's another angle your opponents now have to worry about. Now, to add on to this, the moment you make the corner pyramid edit, your opponent's expecting you to edit the top 3 squares of your wall no doubt about it. It's also pretty common to edit the top 3 squares with the corner pyramid edit. I'm not sure exactly who ran the strat first, but I know that Clix uses it a ton in his box fights. Well guys, that's it for this guide, a couple of insanely great techniques to add to your creative routine, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day and night, and I'll see you on the next one.